Welcome, this is Terry Ewell. Weizenborn's study number 28 provides us the opportunity to develop our tools for practicing in 6-8. Pull out your toolbox of rhythms and get to work. I want you to come up with at least six practice rhythms for the first two measures. Some should coincide with the beat and others won't. Stop the video now. How did you do? We are now over halfway through the Weizenborn studies, and I expect your understanding of how to use rhythms to practice is now well developed. Let's compare notes. Here are some of the possibilities. Rhythms that coincide with the beat and meter. Rhythms that coincide with the beat, but change the meter. Rhythms that depart from the beat and meter. Naturally, there are more rhythms as well. Be creative. Be sure to practice all of the difficult portions of this study with many rhythmic patterns. Students struggle with keeping an even tempo and correct rhythms in line two. The key to a steady rhythm is subdivisions. Hear in your mind eighth notes when you perform this passage. Da di da di 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 da 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 di 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 da da di da da di etc. So if you hear those eighth notes, that will help you with this passage. Let's also concentrate on good intonation. Set your drone to D, and practice through the first four lines up to the fine. Let me do a little practice for you to observe. intervals are difficult to tune. So my questions to you are, how do we tune notes on the bassoon? Have you carefully thought about this or examined the issue of tuning? The next three reflections will be devoted to answering this question more fully. In this and the next reflection, I am briefly sharing material from my monograph Win Performer's Guide to Increasing Endurance. 
Some of the principles introduced there will help you to better understand how to adjust intonation on the bassoon. Here are the five components used for the production of sound. Number one, the lungs. Number two, the throat area. Number three, the back of the tongue. Number four, the front of the tongue. And number five, the embouchure, lips and jaw. My system for playing the bassoon treats each component independently. In other words, each component has a unique role. An analogy that helps explain the roles is a faucet with a hose and trigger sprayer or nozzle. Please observe the numbers and how they correlate to the five components in the previous figure. In number one, the faucet provides the flow of water. Numbers two and three direct and modify that flow of water. In number four, the trigger on the sprayer can quickly start or stop the water. And last of all, in number five, the nozzle can direct the stream of water into a loose or tight spray. Each of these components influences intonation. However, for our purposes here, we will pay attention to the intonation adjustments made by the back of the tongue and the embouchure. These are components three and five. We will discuss this more in the next reflection. Thank you.